What's up Bafflers, James Witter here. I've recently upgraded to the Panasonic HC X1000 camcorder that records 4K in 60 frames per second. What I need now is a super fast SD card. I wanted to make sure the SD card I was using was capable of the high bitrate 4K video. This means I need the fastest card to cope with what I'm recording reliably. Today we're looking at the Lexar Professional 2000x SD XC card. There's different sizes available. I've selected the 128 gigabyte version. With 300 megabits per second read speed and up to 260 megabytes per second write, it should be able to handle 4K 60 frames without any problems. For the test, I'll be recording 4K 60 frames per second in MP4 format. And a speed test. Don't forget to follow me at TechBaffle. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. Let's see if we can reach 5,000 subscribers by December. We also have brand new exclusive merch from techbaffle.shop. I just received my order. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and open the bag. And there it is. Lexar Professional, 128 gigabytes, 2000 times speed. And as you can see, it comes with a SD card as well as the SD card reader. It's nice that they've provided an SD card reader in the box. This means that you can read and write the card at the maximum speed so you can import all the videos or photos onto your computer. High speed performance to dramatically accelerate digital photography workflow. Up to 300 megabytes per second transfer and up to 260 megabytes write. So yeah, that is incredibly fast. So mentions on here 4K. There's lots of little things on the card itself. It shows 128 gigabytes, which is obviously the storage. One annoying thing about card marketing, they all do the same thing. They always promote the transfer speed, not the write speed. I mean, it is good to have fast transfer, but if you're looking to get a fast SD card for your camera or camcorder, the write speed is crucial because you need to make sure you can actually write and the camera's not gonna have errors when you're recording. A limited one year warranty for the reader and a limited lifetime warranty for the card. So yeah, they are really backing up their products. So the most important thing if you're looking for video is the V90. So what this means is that it can write video at at least 90 megabytes per second. So V obviously stands for video and there's different ones you can get. You can get V30, V60 and V90. So V90 is like top of the line. Class 10, U3, V90 and UHS-2. SDXE means it's extra capacity. That basically means it's a big card. It's 128 gigabytes. So obviously you can choose whatever storage you want. Bear in mind, 4K video does take up a lot of storage. A fun way to tell if this card is working at all is because I've got exactly the same card recording this very video. So yeah, depending on if this video actually works, hopefully it does. then this card is obviously doing the trick because I'm recording right now in 4K at 60 frames per second. What we're going to do now is test how fast the SD cards actually are. So I say cards because what I'm going to do is test the Lexar one that we covered in today's video versus a Toshiba one, which is one that I used with my previous Take back all setup, so it's a very fast card, it's not necessarily slow, but there is a noticeable difference between not only the speed but the price. So, this test should indicate whether it's worth upgrading, whether it's worth the price increase. What I'm using for the test is the Lexar SD card reader, probably better than the pound shop one that I have, <laughs> hopefully. Um, it's USB 3 and I've got it in a USB 3 port. Uh, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to test the Toshiba card and then the Lexar card afterwards. To do that I'm using H2 Test W. I've shown this in a previous video when I was doing the video on the 1TB SD card. On a side note, I'm using a Guitar Hero microphone. Let me know what you think of it. Um, fun fact, it's a Logitech microphone. The reason for this is because my mixer seems to have died. Uh, my 
Xenix 302 Beringer mixer. I have no idea what's happened to it. It's either the mixer or the cable. Windows is saying, oh, you haven't plugged anything in. Yeah, so hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. So let's get started with the speed test. It's important to note whilst you're doing the speed test, so I've named both of the cards so it doesn't be, so it's not confusing. It's worth noting that uh, both cards are a different size. I don't have another 128 gigabyte card. Also, 128 gigabytes formatted to like 110 or something it's going to take absolutely for ages so i really want to get this video completed <laughs> if you really want to see the full amount speed test then let me know in the comments i don't think much people would want to watch that so what i'm going to do in a test is test 10 gigabytes read and write speed let's start off with the toshiba i've formatted the card there's nothing on it make sure you have formatted the card obviously if it's a card you've already used get everything off the card put it on your hard drive or something because once you format it it's gone so let's go ahead and test select the target of toshiba and the g g drive that's quite difficult to say okay so yeah what i've done is typed in 10,000 so 10 gigabytes basically so what we're going to do is write and verify what it's going to do is going to warn us that we're only testing 10 gigabytes out of the full amount Purely because if you've bought a card and you're not sure if it's legit or not, it's worth testing the entire card so you know that it's the right capacity and that it's legit. Both the cards I've already checked and they are both legitimate cards. So, press OK. And the test has started. So, we're writing. So, what I'm thinking, or what I'm hoping, is that the Toshiba card isn't going to perform as quickly as the Lexar card. I mean, the Toshiba can perform fairly well, but not quite as well as Alexa. Uh, it's worth noting, both cards are slightly different. I've covered it in a previous video, actually. The Akazo action camera that I uh, made a video on, I used that card with it. If you want to find out more about the cards, I'll put both of them in the description. Anyway, what I'm going to do is go on to the videos that I recorded on the Lexar SD card, including that one, which is brilliant. Let's play, let's play that one. So... This, this is me. might look slightly ridiculous, but you can actually just about use this for vlogging. If you really want to. <laughs> Plus you probably can't hear what's going on because it's incredibly windy today, so... Yeah, that 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 was a uh, interesting video. It's when I first got the camera and I was learning how to use it. I thought, I know, I'll do a vlog, even though it's really, really, really windy. Bear in mind, this is me learning how to use the camera. It's not going to be the best footage in the world. Probably will look better on a tripod. But the stabilisation is working well, to be fair. This is really close up, as you can tell. I mean, if you really want to, let me know in the comments and I can actually upload these to the cloud and you can download them if you really want to. They're not the most interesting videos in the world. They're just... Oh, there's one of Vosk. That's quite interesting. A little bit shaky. But... The most important thing is that this is meant to test out the camera to make sure that the videos don't come up with errors, there's no sort of glitches or anything. <laughs> and there's Oscar playing with a bone. I mean this is the perfect thing to watch whilst we're doing an SD card speed test. A few minutes later. So the test is complete. So it's finished without errors which we like. So what we can see is that the writing speed is 27.8 megabytes per second and the reading speed is 83.7 megabytes per second. Also, it took six minutes to write and just under two minutes to verify. We can delete the test footage after that. Always eject your SD cards, top tip. It's always a good idea. <laughs> So there we go, 116 gigabytes formatted. Always bear in mind when you're buying SD cards, it, they don't show you the formatted size. I wish they kind of did to be fair, as well as like, yeah, it's just one of those things. So yeah, this is 116 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and do the test. Go ahead and select G drive, Lexar, so I've named it Lexar. So let's go ahead, write and verify. Again. Okay. So you can see already the writing speed 
is a lot faster. We've gone over 100 megabytes per second. It's still going up. 150. So yeah, you can see this is night and day difference already. Obviously, we'll see what the final result is at the end. So the test is now complete. As we can see, the results are night and day. The Toshiba has a writing speed of 27.8 megabytes per second. The Lexar has a writing speed of 155 megabytes per second. The Toshiba has a reading speed of 83.7 megabytes per second. And the Lexar has a reading speed of 181 megabytes per second. So that is a complete difference in read and write speed. As a disclaimer, you can get faster Toshiba cards. They are not a bad company for buying cards. So there we go. The results are right there. I hope you enjoyed this video. hope it helps if you're thinking about buying a faster SD card. If you want the fastest performance, it really does make a difference if you upgrade to a faster card. Thanks for watching. Remember you can buy the Lexar Professional 2000 times SDXC card now on Amazon. Check the Genius link below for great prices near you. The Genius link is affiliated by Amazon. By using the link you help fund future Tech Baffle videos. If you have any questions let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. Let's see if we can make 4,000 subscribers. If you like this video, smash that like button. We're on the daily upload grind. Don't get behind as we have so much amazing videos on the way. Alert, alert. We have new merch at techbaffle.shop. Limited edition black Tech Baffle hoodie available until December the 1st. Don't forget to follow me at Tech Baffle. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. Also, now it's the time in the video, I just realised I don't have the... <laughs> The Tech Baffle logo hasn't been shown the whole time. I've literally only just noticed that. For all the latest, head over to techbaffle.com. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day. It's baffling, isn't it?